the Havanese breed. So they're pretty prone Havanese to separation anxiety. Um, it's in their genetic makeup um, from our understanding of them anyways. Ninja is definitely like a guard dog and um, he's not very active because of his bow legs most of the time, where Gidget is um, sort of like more of the hyperactive dog and can't calm down like sort of thing. So they're both very different personalities, yeah. Previously, they used to have a really big issue when we would leave home. So, um, yeah, after about nine o'clock, after we took them out for their morning walks, even though they would be really worn out from their walks in the morning, as soon as we would leave the house, we would hear them barking and Gidget would end up rowling up Ninja. So Gidget would be the one freaking out about no one being home and then the Gid um, Ninja would get really upset as well. So that used to happen a lot with them when they were younger and um, only until just recently when we got the dog cloud bed, um, they've tend to calm down a lot more. I think that they see that as like a comfort. Um, Ninja doesn't really respond to Gidget's riled upness anymore, which is nice when he sits on the bed. So it's good for us because it was a problem with the barking. Our next door neighbors used to get quite upset about it and we just don't get that feedback anymore since we've had the dog cloud bed, so it's good. So before we had Dog Cloud, um, as soon as we'd get home, Gidget especially would be jumping like so high, like up to your waist, just trying to get your attention, get on you, like would run around in circles and just be like super hyperactive. But that behavior has, is just not as bad as what it used to be. Especially when we have people over, as soon as someone would come up to the front door, he'd growl, he'd bark, they'd both spur on each other and, carry on quite a lot. They just seem to have stopped being so um, overwhelming, I guess you could say. They're a lot calmer now. Ninja is so much more active outside now. He never used to because he has bow legs and we feel like it hindered his ability to be as active as Gidget is and you know he couldn't really jump or he was always just a bit too like afraid to really do anything so he must have been in so much pain he's he's just so much more active now he runs after the ball he keeps up with Gidget all the time like it seems like he's having a happier experience outdoors than just coming and walking with um, and watching Gidget play while he just sits down and does nothing so he just seems like a happier dog now which is nice I hadn't been home for a while, so normally what would happen is me not coming home for a while would um, result in them just being crazy. And at the first time when I walked through the door and they weren't jumping up and down and going crazy, I was a little bit sad because, you know, in a way you want them to do that with you. But I was able to, you know, put all my stuff down, get them to sit in a spot where I could sit down and relax with them. And then, you know, they'd come up and, and it was just like, a really nice moment because it wasn't like they were frantically trying to attack, not attack me, but you know, frantically love me and stuff like that. It was just like I had them both there and we we're both just patting and relaxing and sharing kisses and it was just a really special moment. So, and to have that every time now when I walk in the door is really nice. It just gives me a bit of space to settle myself and then I can give them all the time in the world that they need and they understand that now. My first reaction was that it was random, only because there's nothing that I have ever really heard or seen of this being an answer for dogs before. I also don't think that like, you know, there is a lot of market or understanding surrounding dogs anxiety. I don't think people really sort of believe in that. So when I actually got to understand how this works and then actually see the end result, you just have a completely different mindset, like don't knock things before you try it sort of thing. I mean, it's a really comfy bed even without the massager. So regardless, it's <laughs> they love it regardless. <laughs> I know a lot of us are working from home now, but that transition from working from home to going back into the office, you'll be able to, on the app, get notifications to when your dog is sitting on the bed and when it's not. And you can also control the amount of 
time frame that you want your dog to be sitting on the bed as well. So you do have that ability to also manage the time and also track whether or not your dog is enjoying the certain massage speed or how long he or she sits on the bed for. So you have a lot more control over when and when, and when they don't want to utilise the bed as well. All you're going to do is um, create a better, better experience for your dog. You're not really, and you know, if you've invested this much time and money into an animal, why not invest a little bit more to make it happier? It's definitely worked for us. And of course, every dog is different, but you don't get the same um, bonding experience that you would with just any old dog bed that you could buy from Pet Barn. You know what I mean? Like you, you tend to bond with your dog more because you've got the application. You can actually un gain a better understanding of what your dog likes and what your dog doesn't like. And, you know, it, it is overall just a better experience. I would not buy, um, if I ever got another dog, I would not buy them just a general dog bed because I definitely feel like dog cloud has worked for us.